There are fairy tales, and then there's Hoyan. Hoyan is a place where time seems to stand still, where the old and the new coexist in perfect harmony. This city is famous for its colourful lanterns that are hung throughout the streets and over the Tubong River, creating a magical ambience at night. It's a place where you can taste the history. That is incredibly delicious, oh my goodness, bro. The city's cuisine is a blend of Chinese, Japanese and Vietnamese influences, making it a unique culinary destination. It is a beautiful city that combines history, culture and charm in a way that is truly unforgettable. This is Hoi An. Mom, so we are here in Hoi An and already you can tell how different it is. It's the architecture, the buildings, the people, um, what this town is known for. Literally, I'm walking, I'm trying to get to a restaurant to munch been stopped about 20 times to go and buy suits and that's what they're known for apparently every suit that they make in every shop is hand stitched handmade which makes it special um, which is it gives it that unique selling point so yeah man it's, it's, it's already a vibe man but it's, it's just a uh, you know I don't want a suit right now for you. I'm with Anna she okay. makes Good, good. She said her shop is number one. Yes. In Hoi An. Hoi An, yes. So What's it called? Uh, Barry Taylor. Barry Taylor. Barry. Everything is hand stitched. Uh, this is what Hoi An's about. It's yeah. Every day. It's all about. Yeah. Suits. Yeah. So many people, you buy the tailor, you look the view in the my shop number one. I love it. Shop more number one, yeah. yeah. Okay. In Hoi An, the friend that the tailor, the tip buy very good the view. Very good, yeah. yeah yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alay, do you come to my shop? Have a quick look. Yeah, okay. I'll come. I'll, I'll come. Have a look. Uh, right now, I'm hungry. So you saying Kremlin? Yeah. Kremlin. You, you are you going to be here? Yeah, you come to look and give my car where we are later. You come back. Quick look if you like, if I don't oh, worry. I'm so hungry. My shop here. Here. Oh. Yeah, not far. You okay, come. okay, give me your card. Yeah. It's been 20 for you. How long have you been a tailor for? Uh, 20 years already. 20 years yeah, you've so been in, a tailor? You know, in the family, my mom, my dad, she, she, he out already. Mm. Uh, they working already at the family, six year cousin working 20 years already. Oh, so your, yeah. your mom yeah. was a tailor? Yes. Your dad? Yes. Tailor? Uh, yes, he out already. And he owned it? Uh, yeah. So now you're carrying on yeah. the family business? Yeah, yes, the family picnic cousin, teacher together, working 20 years already. Wow. Yeah. So we in here. So you know, you look. Uh, Hello. Hello. Six year cousin. Family, the other person. Oh yeah. wow! So this How is long? a family business. Yes. yes. How long are you staying in Hoi I'm only here for two days. Oh, only two days. Uh, what what should I do? What should I do in Hoi What's uh, the yeah. name? What, what do you think? In Hoi An, also in here for shopping, for the outtown, for the night the market. The night market. The tour, yeah. Night uh, the market. night market is really yeah. good. After you come here, you order global. Later, <laughs> Maybe already. later. Yeah. Later. I'm hungry. Uh, what What would you like? Bánh mì. I want to try the. Cao Lao. Ah, Cao Lao. If you want to buy Cao Lao for you, come here, you eat and you relax. <laughs> we are the question. Yeah. Related? Yeah. Younger sister and Hello. older sister. Hi. Yeah. My YouTube channel. Uh huh. Mm. What's your name? Eli. Eli. Your name V. V. Nice to meet you yeah. too. So excited to try it, um, and yeah, got even a complimentary watermelon. That's how nice they are, man. Mm. Kao Lao is a unique dish that is made with thick rice noodles, slices of juicy pork, bean sprouts, and fresh herbs, served with a small amount of savory broth. And it's basically pork with um, uh, noodles and sprouts and uh, pork uh, cracklings it's not bad so you said this is pork so this is pork noodle uh, uh, bean sprout, Be uh, bean sprout yeah. and this is crackling yeah, fried. fried fried crackling yeah. yeah and then you just put a little bit of the salad yeah, salad. 
So you put salad here? Yeah, a little. A little bit, yeah? Lemon. And then lemon, lime, yeah? You got a bit of lime, you squeeze lime on top. And then chili. Yeah, chili sauce. And then you add a little bit of chili sauce. So if you can see it right here, a little bit of chili. And that's it. Not that spicy. Not spicy. It's this, sweet. It's sweet, yeah. Okay, sweet, sweet chili. It's not that spicy, so I'll show you. There you go. That's it. There you go. So if you look at it here. see the little bits of uh, pork that you got there everything so if you have a look mixing it in mix everything together if you can see the noodles the pork that comes up um, you mix it in and this is basically cow la right, can you see it That's incredible. I think that is the lean beef, the lean part of the of the pork, which is really good. It's fantastic. It's sensational. So the noodles, it is thick, but also it's chewy. It's got like a little chewy texture to it as well, which is fantastic. Cao Lao apart from other Vietnamese noodles dishes is the way the noodles are made. The noodles are made using a special technique that involves soaking the rice in water from a specific well in Hoi An, which is said to give the noodles their distinctive flavour and texture. Obviously you've got the crunchy textures of the bean sprouts as well, which gives it that extra sort of flavour. This is really good man, really good. Show you. This is good. Really good. I like it. This is absolutely delicious. Incredibly delicious. Oh man. I'm upset that it's over, but I'm actually upset. Walking the streets now. Survive. Just chilling. Cool street, man. Nothing but vibes. Nothing but vibes. Loving this. Yeah, I just had the lemon tea. It was lang, bruv. It wasn't too sweet. You could tell there's a lot of herbs and flavors that's gone into it, but it's all natural. Yo, Hoyan is sick, bruv. Hello. It's sick still. Everyone's nice, man. It's a proper touristy, but not. It's got its authentic feel, which quiet, quaint sort of vibe. Yeah, man. It's not too bad still. It's actually a vibe, man. Just here chilling. Yeah. Just catching, catching some vibes, man. It's good, it's good, it's good. Good scenes, good scenery, lots of shops to visit. Where to go, I have no idea, no idea. Ben? Do we? Do we? Do we? Ben, do we? Yes. Ben, do we? Good, yeah? Banana. I'm yeah. Vietnamese now. Oh, okay, Vietnamese. <laughs> you take one? I take one, yeah, okay. just one. So this is banana with coconut yeah. in there. Do you want the uh, paper or you want the bag? Uh, I have the paper, I have it now. Okay. I have it now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just trying a bit of uh, fried banana with coconut. It's nice, man. So, so good. Mm. So good. So tasty. This is kom ga. It means chicken rice. It is a dish made from steamed rice, cooked with chicken broth, chicken meat, and a variety of herbs and spices. The chicken used in kom ga hoi an is typically boiled un until tender. Then, 
shredded and mixed with onions, herbs and spices such as turmeric and ginger. The rice is cooked in the same broth as the chicken which gives it a flavorful and aromatic quality. Mm. Very nice. Really juicy chicken, it's like a pack of flavour. Got this red tools here. Just gives it quite a bit of sweetness. I think we've got a pie of salad next to it. Just gives it that more of a fried flavour. Look at that. Sweet flavour, sweetens things up. It's really nice. It's really good. Um, the chicken is still quite lean. It's still packed with flavour. It's not too bad. I'm going to add a little bit of chilli on it as well. Because I like chilli. Freshens it up a little bit as well. I had that sort of chicken gave it that little kick. This shows here, can anyone see that red sauce? It's very sweet. It's sweet yet savory. I'm going to have some of this blood to see what it's saying. It tastes like a fancy. It's alright. Hoiyan at night is a magical and enchanting experience. The city's historic architecture is illuminated by lanterns and coloured lights creating a beautiful and romantic atmosphere. And here I am, single, walking around with no babes. Let me see. Throw it in the air. I'm gonna throw it in the air. Yeah. But it's nice though, when you're out here, bare lights, it lights up, it's yeah. enchanting. Look at that. I don't know if you can do it. And it actually comes back. It actually comes back. It's nice. It's very enchanting. You've got all these lights, these lakes. You know. Uh, it's beautiful man, jeez, it's so beautiful, so many lights, I've never seen anything like this in my life, it's crazy, Bayan is just gorgeous, it's stunning. Hey. Night market, this is very nice, delicious. <laughs> Raining. Raining in Vietnam. I haven't had much luck on this trip. I am in Hoi An. I'm going to try some seafood and um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. You catch it yourself. They, they cook it. <laughs> I'm joking. They just, they have it here. Um, you, you pick the one you want and then yeah, they cook it for you. So uh, it's, uh, it's a well-known thing that seafood in Hoi An, sorry, it's, uh, it's delicious. The main thing to have when you are in Vietnam, especially when you come to this 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 part of Vietnam, Hoi An. Since it's raining, I've had to make a change of plans. So I went to this restaurant for some fresh seafood. I heard it's the best in Hoi An. I ordered fish, clams, squid, and congee. Very, 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 very delicious. 
my life and absolutely good life. I wish I had something to share this with because there ain't no way I can eat this on my own. It's really good fish to be fair. Really good fish. These are the spices. I need to get some ginger. It's really good. Dip it in that sauce. It is a dish consisting of rice that is cooked in water or broth until it becomes a thick porridge-like consistency. It's then flavoured with a variety of ingredients such as prawns, calamari and herbs. This is congee. Now congee is a type of rice porridge um, and they have it with everything. So they mixed it in with um, prawns. It's actually nice, I'm actually enjoying this man. It is typically served hot and topped with crispy shallots and a splash of fish sauce for added saltiness. It's comfort food that is enjoyed by locals and tourists like me. Mm. So it's got all kinds of seafood. Mm. Perfect. So this rainy dinner. It's got herbs in there. Great season, love this. Mm. It didn't look very good. We are inside one of the oldest buildings in Hoi An. As you walk around the house, there are memorabilia littered across the house pictures, um, artifacts. And it's got a real quaint, authentic feel to this place. And that's what it's about. And it's beautiful inside, man. Bro, if you give me a yard like this in London, content in it. Content, fam. Yeah, so this place has definitely got that Chinese vibe, that Chinese influence, because they were here for some time. And that sort of blending of cultures is very, very present here very beautiful stunning place i can honestly i don't want to leave that's how nice it is honestly it's a it's a beautiful home beautiful home and there are people that still live here till this day um the ancestors have left it over to the present families who are carrying on this legacy beautiful okay so this gentleman here is the fifth yeah. generation yeah. Wow, and it's been here for 200 years. Uh, yeah, 230 years. 230 year old house. Incredible. Unbelievable. It's beautiful. I'm going to try this white rose dumpling. Let's see what it's saying. It should be lit. It should be lit. But we're still by the riverside, very touristy. It's cool, we're all right with it, you know what I mean? So we're about to try the white rose dumpling. Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. It's a screechy powder layer texture. And um, it's got pork and shrimp inside of it. It's one of the best things, best dumplings I've eaten in a while. And I'm not just saying that, this is tasty. It is beautiful. Just as fluffy yet squidgy and the sweetness that goes with it from the edge and the sauce. It's incredible. Oh, that is beautiful. That is incredibly delicious. Oh my goodness, bro. And then I'm not coming home. I'm not coming home, bro. It's so tasty. So so tasty. Can't believe there's only six of them.
Softest thing I've had. I think they call it bang, bang hong. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's like lemons. They call it the white rose. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so tasty. What's this? Banana roti? Banana roti. Can I have the small one? Can I have a small one? How much? Same, same. same size, yeah? Same Can size. I have one? How much? Which one like 30? Which one like 40? Which one's better? What's the best one? Which one? Good, yeah? Okay, a little bit, a little bit of Nutella, yeah? This is good. This is really, really good. So, so nice. Shrimp? Uh, shrimp, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About to have um, Vietnamese pizza. Yeah, Vietnamese pizza. Um, and then they crack an egg on top of it. Yes. This is quail egg. Quail egg. We mix it in together. Vietnamese pizza. How long do you grill it for? Sorry? How long do you grill it for? Yeah, uh, I say bring it here. No, no, I'm just saying, how long does it take? So, so... Uh, Five minutes? Ten minutes? No, no, only two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, wow. Yeah. How much? Right. Time for me to try. Very crispy. Very shrimp. Lots of shrimp. Mm. Mm. This is good. All oh, that's missing is cheese. You need next time put cheese in it. <laughs> yeah, cheese. It's cheese inside. No, no, I don't have. Yeah, you should try put cheese in there. So, so this one. Oh, mayonnaise. Okay. Put cheese in there and you'll you'll sort it. I thought a nice way to round this trip off would be to take a boat ride down the river so that I can get a unique perspective of the surrounding scenery and local life. Yeah? This one, yeah? Yeah, I got boat out onto the river as you can see it's an absolute vibe man i just thought why not man oh yeah it's been raining the whole day so this is another activity you can do whilst you're in hoi an still um it's quite magical man it's quite enchanting you know what i mean um you're out here you're chilling you're taking in the vibes you know what i'm saying um just the river i'm on the boat by myself my g <laughs> you know what i'm saying Boss, can you go faster? <laughs> okay. Nice one. Yeah, man. But it's cool. Cool vibes, man. Get to see, you know, other boats out here, which looks very nice, man. It looks, uh, looks beautiful. All I need is some babes, though. You know what I'm saying? I need the babes. Man, looks like a little weasel out here.